This is what normally goes on the back of a computer, okay? And it this plugs in so that the dual monitors can talk. All right, this computer does not have a spot to put this thing in. So you're selling a dual monitor computer, okay? Dual, I already flicked off again. You're selling a dual monitor computer that you are not supplying a dual monitor connection to. So you have to use this connector back here that they use for HDMI to plug and run back to the other one, okay? It doesn't work. So let's get to the fun part. I don't have an extra plug to plug two monitors. This plug does not fit the back of this. It comes with an HDMI cord for each monitor and the HDMI cord is too small to fit into the two holes on the back because this is not a HDMI um, slot. So here is what I mean about common sense and why I think I'm unlike you. This is not a bashing video. This is a realistic video. Two computers in a short period of time that produce dual monitors. This is me showing you a video of common sense and book sense. See, these people were smart enough to build the computer, but they were not intelligent enough with common sense from the end user aspect to make sure that their product worked. Now, I'm not bashing the company. They have a uh, phone number on the deal. I talk to them, but here's my problem. I make videos of people who have problems like this in order for them to fix it. I'm going to give you an opportunity to fix it because for me, you are now telling me to box up all of this stuff back like it was, waste my gas, waste my time to go to UPS to send it back for something that you could have had right in the first place. I don't support companies like that, but I'm going to give you a chance. I talked to the people and they were very nice, giving them props for props to do. They called me, they said, Mr. Young, we know you got a problem. I'm sorry to hear that. We're gonna send you this adapter. Now here is this, this is what this is. This is me going to Best Buy, spending over $40 on adapters that they had. A trip to Target, a trip to Walmart, all of this driving around the city and I drive a Hummer. I spend over $300 a week on gas. So for some of you people that's got $600, $700 car payments, let me tell you something. I spent $1,200 on gas a month. Yeah, I said that. Back to your computer issue. Why should I have to rectify something that you built brand spanking new that you could have just had right the first time? So, I'm gonna give you a chance to fix it. But if you don't, you sending me my money back, but the end user can never get all of their money back because you're not compensating me for my time. You're not compensating me for my gas. You're not compensating me from wasting all of this energy going over to do something that your ass should have got right the first time. So yes, I'm going to ask you to help me. I'm gonna make this video for you to rectify it. You rectify it, I'll give you a good Google review, but at the same time, how are you gonna rectify a computer that is popping on and off. Oh, it's gonna pop on and off while I got this video hold on. Do 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 There it goes. Yes. Think like the end user when you're building a product and stop putting out bullshit that's gonna make people have more of a headache. Or I'ma blast you. Give you a chance to fix it. Unlike you.